I was like, Lord, if I'm going to die today, ah, ah, no, I don't want to die like this, you know. to my youtube channel <laughs> i haven't done this in a long time so <laughs> can you imagine but if it's your first time here hi my name is ashley and i'm god's favorite child i know that's all right i know that's right if you're a returning subscriber baby thank you so much team and stuff for coming back here to another video yes you can see it's banging it's got fabs it's lit you know like I haven't done a story time in a while so like I'm so excited for this one so first and foremost I'm not doing this for entertainment purposes I'm just doing this video for awareness because the world is getting scary guys it's getting really scary and it is my duty and my mandate to make sure my subbies are safe out there you know what I'm saying <laughs> so um, basically as you can see from the title below Guys, your girl almost got abducted. I can't say kidnapped because I'm not a child, but I was a child then, so I almost got kidnapped. So let me tell you, let me give you a background story. Let me give you the setting. Let me let me give you all the details, right? So this happened in 2021, 20, right? Two years ago. And I was in high school. And it was during exams, you know, like A level exams, Cambridge exams. And can I just say, can I just say, like thinking about all the things I went through in upper six, Ah, uh, and the results I came out with, guys, it can only be God because of what? <laughs> so what happened is, at our school, everyone goes to school with the bus because the school is pretty much far from the city centre, right? From the CBD, it's like, I literally far from school, right? So everyone goes to school with the bus, it's part of the school fees, the school, the bus fee is in the school fees, so it was like compulsory for everyone to go to school with the bus, and that's what has been happening since I joined the school, right? So what happened was, um... Your girl, it was like, I think it was on a Wednesday or Thursday. I think it was on a Wednesday, Thursday, if not Wednesday. I'd gone to school because I had a lesson that day, even though we were on SWAT leave, I had a lesson. And what happened was, um, everyone, everything was fine. You know, we came back from school. Now, the thing is, our bus stop is in between two schools, right? So there's Dominican convent, um, the prime preschool, then there's chaplain, right? So our like bus stop is, in that road and growing up like in like ever since i came to Gweru, i've always heard stories about that road like a lot of things happen in that road you know weird things happen in that road but i never really deep it or like thought about it much because i was just like eh not my problem like ah not my problem like i'm here to be picked up and to be left period and nothing more nothing less that was the case for me and oh sha the devil had plans that day he was like chill you're not going home today you know, you're not gonna go read for exams. I want you to fail. <laughs> Literally, that is what I was giving. So that happened. So we everything was fine. We came from school and we dropped out of the bus, right? So I don't know what happened that day, but my parents were nowhere to be found. I don't even know what happened. What arrangement went wrong? What miscommunication happened? But my parents were nowhere to be seen. Something went wrong, <laughs> right? So. You know, you when you drop, usually when I drop out of the bus, my parents already there. It's either my dad is there, pick me up, or it's my mom, right? Yeah, like that's just the deal. Like, usually it's always my mom, but that day, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I really don't know what happened. So, what happened was, after that, right? So, most kids went home, right? Usually, like, by 5 30 everyone will be gone home so i'm dropping on the bus i'm chilling chilling talking to my friends my friends are leaving <laughs> one by one <laughs> one by one right so i was the only one left it was half it was like quarter to six now half past five quarter to six everyone had gone home i was the only one standing there in that street by myself in my school uniform right now you know your lady is light you know i'm very light-skinned right so i'm very if I'm to stand somewhere, you would definitely notice me because I'm that light, like I'm light, right? So I was standing there waiting, waiting. I was getting so bored. Time was flying, right? I'm like, ah, oh, let me play some Candy Crush on my phone. I know we're not allowed to go with our phones to school, but I'll go with them for it. Things like this, scenarios like this. I sent my parents call me back. So I didn't have any time. I sent people calls, I sent SMSs. Sure nothing no response so i'm sitting i'm standing I'm, I'm standing there standing there getting impatient i'm someone who 
I've always been an impatient person, but I'm learning to be very patient with life and with people and with scenarios, right? So, you know, I was like, huh? I waited 15 minutes, this one, and you see, there's no way. 30 minutes passed, I'm like losing my patience now. I'm like, ah, where are these people, right? So I'm standing there chilling on my phone. Then I see this Mercedes Benz pass, right? It was like a gold one. I remember that guy. I remember the person in that, the people in that car, I remember their faces too today. So I'm sitting in the car. No, what am I saying? So I'm standing, right? And this, like, this Mercedes Benz, I think it's a C class or an E class, it passes a gold one, right? So I'm chilling, chilling, you no, know? I'm like, because many cars were passing, so I wasn't, I was like, kind of phased out. I wasn't, like, focusing on all of that, like, drama, right? So now I'm on my phone, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, yeah, 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 panic, kind of crash, trying to pass time, you know, before my lives finish, because, like, you know, kid, because you have five lives, right? Ah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Then this car passes. It's speeding. You can tell this person is on a mission. They are they are rushing somewhere. So this car speeds. Then it, then then the point the car look at me. So I happen to just look in the car like because it was speeding way too fast. So it speeds. Then it stops at the edge of the street. Now it stops at the edge, and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Why are you slowing down? You know. So yeah, it slows down. I think ah maybe something's wrong in the car you know trying to be optimistic here you know you gotta be optimistic in life not all the time though but this time right guys the car is like sped like through the street then it looked and then the people in the car saw me then it just halted and i'm like what's going on then it starts reversing and i'm like no ways there is no way i have to deal with this too I'm not in the mood to chow. I'm not in the mood for drama. <laughs> there is no way I'm going to be. I was like, Lord, if I'm going to die today, ah, ah, no, I don't want to die like this. You know, I don't want to die like this. So the car starts reversing, right? Then the person comes up to me. Then, then the, then, ah, uh -uh, no, like the car reverses. So I start walking, but the car is like pacing with me. And I'm like, Y'all are crazy. Y'all are weird. Men are weird, guys. Men are so weird. I don't know what planet they came from, but they're so weird. And then I'm like, I'm minding my own business. Then this guy goes, hey, is, you know, like one thing I've noticed about serial killers, rapists, everything, they're always nice. Never fall for it. Like, hey, hi, they're like, hi. And then I looked at them and I ignored. I always do that to every stranger, every guy I'm, every guy I don't know. I always look at you like, what are you doing? Why are you talking to me? Because I don't want to talk to you, you know. They're like, hey, hi. And I'm like, um, then I ignored them. Then they're like, oh, so you can't talk. Right. Then I just ignored and I kept walking. Then they're like, hey, we're talking to you. You know, like, I don't know what's this thing with this ag passive aggression with men. Like, if you don't respond or you don't, like, give them attention, they get angry. Like, hey, we're talking to you. And I lo literally looked at them and I ignored. And then I kept walking. Then this guy was really getting out of the car. Ah, you want to then they listen they're like hey we're talking to you you don't want to talk then this guy is now like opening the door ah! <clears throat> i was like there is no way not today satan not today right i started pacing i started walking faster you know so walking fast so walking fast you know at this point i was angry at my parents because they put me in such a compromising situation i started walking fast and then the car then the same one of the kids say ah they're like ah and day money like she won't see ya like they're like just just leave it you won't see ya right and day man then they like that's when the person got into the car and that's just basically means like just leave her let's go like just leave her let's go right and then ah okay fair and fine next and so like the car goes i was like oh, thank you lord like oh I can't be dealing with this right now. Like I can't. I feel I'm fine, you know. I'm like, oh okay. I'm like, okay, I can breathe. Like, like Lord, can there be no more cars in this world? Because at the same time, yes, I was scared of cars, but I was so scared of the people walking. Because the weird people also walking in the street. Weird, weird, weird people. I was like, Lord, can my parents, can I go home now? Like I've learned, okay. I've seen <laughs> how ugly the world is. Can I go home now? So like now I'm on my phone again. I'm not trying to. I'm not getting angry now. I'm losing my temper. I'm like trying to call my parents. They're not answering the phones. They're not calling me back. None of that stuff. They're not even communicating with me or anything. Do I coming? Oh hold on. Something like that. Nothing. And then, so what then happened was, as I was now like okay, like now pay, I was standing there still playing Game Crash. Another car comes, guys. Now this one, I was like no ways, no ways right so this one right um i was on my phone but i was like a little i was like still now kind of very scared guys i was scared i'm not going to lie i was really scared so this one 
I'm on my phone, I'm on my phone, and then the car like passes. Right? It speeds, like it passes. And they're like so many, like you know, you can tell this is like a drug dealer's car or one of those weird people in society's car, like people that do drugs and do weird criminal illegal stuff, right? So the car looked pretty look, you could tell this is a drug dealer's car or a Wendy's car or something like that, right? Okay. Fair and fine, cool, right? So now I'm chilling, I'm chilling on my phone. Then the car speeds, the second car now speeds, right? The second car speeds, and then it speeds and it literally like turns like it's turning into the next road. Then I don't know what happened. Then they started reversing. And then three guys came out of the car. What? Three against one. So they they all came out though. Like you could tell these people are like drug dealers or they are windies, right? All of them, three of them came out of the car and they were pursuing me. Ha! <laughs> I was like, no. I started running. I ran guys. And they were chasing me. Ah! I ran guys. I was like, no. I even I wanted to cry that day. I was so traumatized. I started running. I started jogging, running, running, running. And then these weird people, three of them, came out of the car. Ah! What do you think is going to happen when three guys, men are coming out of the car just for one moment? I was I ran. I ran that day. I ran. Mm -mm. I was like, no ways, right? So, like at the end of the day, more of, at the end of the day, right? I was, I was like so mad. My mom came like I think fifteen or thirty, fifteen minutes after the whole incident of these people trying to like take me, whatever they were trying to do. Lord knows what they were trying to do, you know. For all I came, if they wanted to do a conversation with me, I don't care. I don't trust you. I don't trust men. So, <laughs> like what happened was um so we talked to so like my mom then came like 15 minutes after and then i was like you know i shouted and i'm like you know i almost got kidnapped right because of you like and it's like i'm so sorry my child you know i won't do it again you know and no like when african parents do something wrong then like oh what do you want me to buy <laughs> in that moment i didn't even ah you know how i love food guys that moment i didn't even want to see food i was angry i got home and slept <laughs> and i was supposed to read for exam Anyways, guys, we thank God that I had nothing happened to me and I'm still safe. But, like, let's just... Let, guys, you know, I never thought Gweru had, like, weird things were going to happen in Gweru the way they're happening. Like, I never actually expected it or, uh, uh, like, anticipated something like that happening. Like, I never... This thing of... Uh, it only happens in Harare, in the big cities. Guys, it's happening everywhere now. Weird things are happening. People are getting robbed. People are getting stabbed. People are getting raped. So many things are happening. And I just want you guys to be aware, to be careful wherever you go. Be Don't be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Like, just be safe. I know my situation was out of control, out of my control, because it wasn't like it was my fault for that. Neither, like, it wasn't my fault. So, like, I'm just grateful that God protected me and... I was a bit like vigilant about it because I was like, ah, I can tell if someone is shady from a mile away. Like if I just look at you, like I already know, ah, this person, mm -mm. <laughs> don't trust this person. So I'm so grateful, guys, that like nothing happened to me. Like I'm like to this day, like I'm still like, like another like to this day. Let me actually tell you, when I was in SA, SA is a very scary country. I'm not going to lie. Like I wouldn't want. I'm I'm so grateful that I'm not staying there because you oh you constantly look over your shoulder as a female. Like even I know men also feel scared, but as a woman, it's your higher risk because you constantly look over your shoulder a lot, and that's scary. I remember this one time I was taking a walk, um, to the shops. Like the shops are like down the street. Like if you watched my first Joburg vlog, um, my, the shops are like down the street, right? And I was just walking my own business. Can you tell me why this Ford Ranger literally saw me? It was speeding and started slowing down when it saw me like those things actually like trigger me a lot if i see a car if i'm walking and then i see a car and it's slowing down when it sees me yo i will run i'm not going to lie i will run this is also a, another reason another story again the other time i was like i was the beginning of the year i was trying to be a fitness girl i was trying to be fit i was trying to be healthy i started taking i, I decided let me start doing jogs the first day of doing a jog does a car not follow me follow me to my house guys follow me to my house at that point i'm like no there's no way i'm going to be doing this no not like this literally i was like no this is i was like at this point i'm not gonna leave the house because what literally a person a, a man followed me to my gate from my jogging and he kept saying hi hi what's your name where do you stay where are you like bro leave me alone chat <laughs> leave me alone but 
um, one of the stories be safe guys like this is just a story for awareness i know it might be entertaining it might be funny somehow but guys mm, yeah i'm not going to die prematurely no thank you no thank you so we've come to the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching my story time i hope you learned something from this video and took away something from it i'm going to be working on more content i've just been on the download lately but i'll explain i'll make another video explaining where i've been but thank you so much for watching guys i hope that you enjoyed the video you like the story time don't forget to like comment share and subscribe please do share share my videos with your friends with your family share them to your whatsapp status links like share my video guys like let's spam and yeah at least share this video for witness sake like if you care about someone just share this especially if they're staying in peru guys share don't don't be walking around the road guys be safe and until next time guys bye